Have you ever wonder if you had more data or more insights of your Facebook and Instagram campaign, it would be so much helpful to optimize that campaign and get more results out of it, right? Well, maybe Facebook I've heard you and I'm today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use inspect tool, the newly launched tool from Facebook to help you understand more data and help you understand more insights about your Facebook, Instagram campaigns to help you optimize it better. But unfortunately that tool is only limited to few objective types and few campaign types, but nevertheless, we're going to watch it and we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to read that data and what to do and what are the signals that you need to be careful for. But before I go into this video, before I show my screen again, if you're watching me, by the way, my name is Sartha Garan and you're watching Rocket. I forgot to introduce myself. If you're watching me for the first time and if you're here on, on this channel for the first time, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notification, any future video or any other session, live session that we do on our channel. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any specific question about this video or any other video or anything regarding Facebook, Instagram, Google or digital marketing, put them in the comment section. I'll try to answer it at my best. So let's hop into my screen and see what is this tool about. So first of all, you need to go to your business manager and actually your ads manager. So I usually go from business.facebook.com. And if you do not have your business manager, you need to click on the link above or in the description and find yourself a video for making a new business manager because this is the most important tool Facebook has provided you for running those advertisements. And ultimately you need to find your way into your ad account, which is pretty basic. I don't think I need to tell you that I've already told you guys hundred times and now, okay, let me go to another ad account, which I have blurred all the campaigns as well for obvious reasons. Now, you will not see the inspect tool anywhere in the ad camp campaign screen. You have to click on particular campaign that you want to inspect. For example, if I want to inspect this campaign and you need to go to ad set level and click here and all for all the ad sets that you see over here, you'll see inspect in front of it written, right? And you click on that inspect, a new window window will open up and you will see all the data over here and there's there's one more thing that you need to be careful about data shown here is based on your seven day click and one day view conversion window all right so and what data is available cost per purchase purchase amount spent reached first time impressions and auction overlap and there's one more most important thing is auction competition now first let me tell you how to read this data and what data is what and how important this is for you so let's start with auction competition. Now auction competition is first you have to understand for every advertisement that you run on Facebook and Instagram, Instagram, it goes into an auction where all the competition, all the uh, advertisers are bidding for a placement. For, for example, for your feed and in your feed, there's one placement in the, in the top of your feed and one could be like 10 posts below it or one could be 10 posts more below it. Now they are fighting for one placement, right? All the biddings, all the auction is happening for one, one uh, placement in many seconds. It, it is all done automatically by AIs. You don't have to do anything and you don't have anything to control on it as well. But this, this particular section, what it shows is that how much competition do you have at any moment time at any given time. Now it can range from minus negative figures to positive figures, right? And it is said, and you can read over here as well, it is written there as well. Uh, you can read uh, this line as a reference, a data point of 20 indicates higher competition. So anything which is above like positive in any positive percentage is higher than average. And the average here is 0%. So if you see 0% in your, uh, this auction competition, for example, this over here, we have about minus 1.03. So that means this is 1.03% less than average because this is negative. And now if you see this data, this is 47 by 47. This means that at this point of time, the competition was 47.47% higher than normal. And you can see the results as well. And just below this, in this graph itself, there is uh, on this particular day where we had 47.47% 47 
percent auction higher auction than average we had a cost per purchase a little higher but on this particular day which we had about 30 percent auction competition we had a cost per purchase about almost to like two or three times higher than normal so this is what auction competition is about you get to know about what type of competition how heavy the competition is and then this this area you see uh, we we have we have gone least as least as minus 67 percent auction competition which is like 67 percent less than average competition in those days and still have we have got cost per purchase 1200 like only maybe only one purchase that day now if you scroll down you have audience saturation over here what is audience saturation so you have to understand that and if you target any set of audience there will be one time that that or that particular audience will get saturated right but depends on how much how many uh, like how much budget you're spending on that plus how many campaigns you have running on that camp on that particular uh, audience but this is this insight is only about one ad set right one ad audience one campaign one ad set and this particular in this scenario where i'm showing you on the screen there's 42 percent this is this line you see the bold line is the frequency of this particular ad which I have shown to the audience now 2.36 uh, 2.36 means that on an average everyone has seen this advertisement 2.36 times so that's the frequency of the ads that has been shown to the users now first time impression if you see that is an this is actually an uh, in uh, a very good tool because higher it is you will notice that you have more customers more uh, new fresh audience fresh blood coming into the campaign and you'll see in the in the uh, subsequent days you will have better performance because again no one will buy the product the very first time that they see they probably we have to sh like we have to show them our ads about two to three times on an average to get them come like compelled for buying so you see and this is all suggested by the data i'm not seeing anything about that so you see there are about uh, 22 25 percent first time impression and, and then suddenly one day we have 63 percent first time impression ratio which means like out of 100 percent people that this ad was shown to this particular date 63 percent was new audience that was that has never seen your ad before and you see that particular day you have a pretty high uh, cost per purchase as well but when you go in the subsequent days in, in days in front of it where you have lesser first time impressions but lesser cost as well this is because those people who had seen your ad for the first time few days back now they are keep seeing your ad more and more and now they are compelled to buy it and then that's why that is why the graph goes down and you have more purchases that day and you see then it has gone down till i think 19 20 percent of first time impressions because facebook is now because you are getting good number of sales so facebook will keep showing your your content your advertisement to people who are engaged with it but haven't took that action or maybe who had visited your website but haven't purchased it yet so facebook will keep try to keep compelling them of buying your product and keep showing your your ad to them first then a point will come where the audience will get saturated saturation saturated and then facebook will decide okay now i need to show you show more people first time uh, impression first time viewers so that you can have more blood more fresh blood into your pool so here you go there's another spike which has about uh, 33 percent first time impressions then earlier it was running about 20 25 26 well, it's, a, it's a lesser spike but this is what happens in a regular basis this is the the story of a facebook ad campaign if you run that for longer period then you should and the last tool we have is auction overlap now auction overlap means when you have multiple ad sets and you have multiple ads running in one ad account and all of them are targeting one set of audience you will in this scenario you will find auction overlap means you have more than one ad set more than one ad set competing within each other for that placement now if you have more auction comp overlap for example we at this given uh, point of time we have had 21.10 percent of auction overlap now what facebook will do is 
Facebook will only take that ad set which is the best performing ad set and which Facebook thinks that this will have a bigger impact than the other one. Facebook will only take that ad set into the bidding from your ad account and the other ones it will just leave it back there. So your ad sets which are fairly new maybe or not optimized yet they will not even go to the auction level to be to win that particular placement. But this you need to avoid this and you can also have additional data inside if you click on it and you will see all the ad sets which are in overlap to each other or to this one. So this is the inspect tool and now for this information you can see whether it is auction competition, whether it is audience saturation or it is auction overlap, whichever is the case because of which you are getting high results, high cost per results. So guys, this was Facebook's inspect tool, which is fairly new. It's only about, I think a couple of months back that uh, Facebook introduced this tool and it has so much valuable data in it. I mean, the bidding auction, the auction inside and the overlap inside the, uh, the audience overlap. It's just so amazing. Now you know that what is the issue with your campaign and how do you want to optimize it, whether it is the cost per result is going higher because of the auction or auction competition or it is going because of the audience saturation. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you and now you can optimize your campaigns better. And if you want to keep watching such videos, please subscribe to our, our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. And if you have any specific question, guys, please put them in the comment section. I would really love that. And I would love to reply to all of you on the comments that you put there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.